A crowd started to gather at Angela Ruskin's art department's courtyard on Thursday, the 15th of June. The occasion, which was a BBC event encompassing a live broadcast of the Jeremy Sallis show on Radio Cambridgeshire, was to mark the unveiling of a BBC Music Day award plaque for the late legendary Sid Barrett, founder member of Pink Floyd and attendee of the Art College back in the early 60s. I'm just going on round two editing the second book, which is about last season. Um, it's quite a laborious kind of process, really, but... Um, it's a lot more enjoyable in some ways, you know, going through last season than the one before. Yeah, so. Talking about Chelsea, of course, not, not my beloved Norwich City. Uh, no, no, no. I love your earrings, by the way. They're plectrum-shaped earrings. One says punk oh, yes. chick. What was the other one? So, yeah, the punk same. chick. Yeah. yeah, just different colours, you know, because I like to be a bit re- rebellious like that. And, and why did you come down here? I mean, apart from obviously just wanting oh, to see ob- me in the flesh. Obviously, well, he's obviously yeah. wanting to see you, uh, Jess, uh, and also to see the plaque unveil. That would be uh, good. I've, uh, I'll, I'd like to just put in a request for uh, you say we play. Um, you know what it is, but I'll let the listeners uh, perhaps guess by the uh, you know, design on my shirt, which they can't see. But, but a beautiful uh, uh, print of tiny little... Uh, bicycles velocipedes on there Richard oh yeah so uh, people can guess what that might be you know what uh, what I might be for his uh, own sound suggesting. effects look at that that's great I, I like guests who bring their own sound effects uh, saves us the trouble uh, Richard Caroline thank you so much uh, enjoy the unveiling and thank you for popping down to say hello see the light falling through the trees above me Tennessee. As I am in the company of a very talented young artist, well, I say that both musically and artistically. Uh, Hannah Farthing, afternoon. Hi, hi, Joe. And uh, you're uh, obviously way too young to remember Sid Barrett. I mean, do you know much about Sid Barrett, Pink Floyd? A little bit. I mean, um, I think my dad listened to a little bit of Pink Floyd, but yeah. And you're just about to graduate uh, on a BA illustration degree here at Anglia Ruskin. That's right, yep. I was actually going to study music initially, but um, it turned out illustration, and yeah, it's been a great three years. So you are following in the footsteps of Sid Barrett then, studying art, but also doing a sideline in, in music. Yeah, I think a lot of people um, on art courses or even maybe on music courses do art, and there's a kind of really, I don't know, interesting relationship between the two. Uh, things. Yeah, are they inseparable to you? I mean, they seem to be with a lot of people, like they were with, like they were with Sid. Yeah. Um, also, sometimes I feel like if I'm being really creative visually, then I find it more difficult to write songs. Or so, so sometimes there's a bit of give and take. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, I couldn't do one without the other. amazing to us as a family that he should still be recognised for his unique character and for his very original music. (laughs) He never appreciated how much his music was enjoyed by people all over the world. The family are so proud of him and want to thank Radio Cambridge here and all that have helped to give Sid this honour. Thank you. It's now a great honour of mine. Thank you, Rosary. It's now a great honour for me to officially then ask Rosemary to live on BBC Radio Cambridgeshire unveil this special plaque commemorating the huge contribution of her brother and founder member of Pink Floyd, Sid Barrett. (laughs) It's a thing of beauty. It's just like the ones you see on the front of... Uh, August historic uh, houses, uh, noting uh, the um, remarkable contributions of, of writers, poets, and now Roger Keith Sid Barrett, 1946 to 2000. 
and six. Hello Mill Road. My reason to be here is I was a contemporary of Sid Barrett's in this building in the 1960s and I was also the drummer in his first Cambridge band called Those Without. My reason to speak to you is that I'm involved with a charity called artgardenhealth.org.uk if you wish to look us up please do. We're creating a garden at Addenbrooke's Hospital called the Sid Barrett Celebration Garden which will contain a sculpture of Sid Barrett and is due to open on the 7th of July 2018 and we are anxiously fundraising so if anybody out there can help in any way please look on the website and get in touch. Thank you very much. He, Sid, was, Sid was here at the Tech doing art, yes. Sid was here and uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was uh, a shame what happened. Do you, would, would you think it was all down to drugs? What happened? What would you be referring to? Uh, what would I be referring to? Yeah. When Sid, Sid was apparently a very talented, exuberant chap. Yeah. Who, who formed, was the driving force behind Pink Floyd. Yes. And they formed, and, and he was very good at writing hit songs, I think. That was what, yeah. that's what I've gleaned over the That's time. right. And then, but it, it almost all got too much, the fame thing. He was more of a pure artist and was more wanting to sort of yeah. do his own thing. He basically got... Um, a bit fed up with all the work involved and he got extremely tired came back to Cambridge and lived a very happy life for many years oh we did yeah yeah oh, with good. doing a lot of art and being a happy chap oh, so every, everything was sound it, it wasn't sort of uh, it wasn't like oh dear what a, what a shame about Sid Barrett no like that. no yeah? oh, that's, that's, that's a that's a story that is around Right. But um, he was fine. Oh, good. Good. Well, it's good that it, there's a good memory there because yeah. if, it, if it wasn't for Sid, there was no way that they would have got off the ground in the first place. I think, no, I think he was the, the driving force behind it. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you very much. Pleasure. And, uh, it's good to uh, <laughs> see the, the there. <laughs>